Well, another day, another dollar. Got to utilize uh, this thing today to um, put hay out for the cows. And I think I might have a battery going dead in this light because it is not... I guess that's all the brighter it gets. Need to check my engine oil in said machine because, um, well, it is a checking and it is um, a okay, as you guys can see right there. These Yanmars, you can run them almost out of oil and they will keep on running. Uh, we probably better check our antifreeze too. Not that I've ever had to put any in this loader since I've started working for dad, but there's always that one time. that one time that you might need to add a splash to it that tab over there broke off I don't know why this thing ain't wanting to start well I know why it's not wanting to start it's because the glow plug or uh, glow plugs it's got fuel filter problems and we need to change them but um, we're trying to limp the thing to winter time when things slow down. Um, I think it's like a seven or ten second timer that light comes on. And now it's safe to start. Letting a 7810 warm up at a fast idle. It's not really that cold out, so we can get away with it. I'm going to go out back here to where there is eight acres out back behind the woods there. I'm going to start there just in case it were to rain or do something stupid like that. I'm not uh, playing around in the mud back there. Get in, get out. At least back there. start back there and work my way forward because that would be the smart thing to do and then it just keeps on going back further and further but we only got these little two chunks here to do and then that out front there man that goes back quite a quite a ways now that I see it don't know who owns it, but... And I finally got these hooked up right to where down or forward on the hydraulic is down on the wings. I finally got that right. Yay for me. I gotta stop and clean the windows, boys. I can't... Ugh. These things are just... Yuck. Oh, and I got no glass cleaner in here. So I'm just going to have to make the best.
approach you better. That's really good. At least now I can see something. Well, there's a spot that is just driving me absolutely crazy. And as this back window is, I only got paper towels to work with. amazing what the old spit shine trick could do. Now the back window. Mucho good? Oh, they're better than they were, I guess. I mean, it sucks not having glass cleaner, but you just make a do with what you got. They will get cleaned when we go back home, and they will be cleaned right. Well, we're all done. Dad had the loaded tractor out here to grade some dirt. He ran back here and pushed that tree off. There was a tree in the middle of the field that had to be dealt with. I need to leave this thing folded down because there's a couple, there's a couple scragglers around on this end that need to be done or dealt with on my way out of here so we're gonna do that and uh head on out of here for good i'm gonna go do that big oh i want to say 50 acres or so I don't know, but I do know is that I gotta fold this unit up because there's a couple stumps that I gotta go around or that I don't have to go around. The wheels have to go over. So I wanna make sure my tool is picked up. So that the wheels don't catch them stumps and uh, we do damage to the tool because that, that would not be good. So as I get my machine out of here, might as well talk about how Harvest did, okay? There's a spot up here, there's a spot up here, I kid you guys not, it was all, we no-tilled corn in it, the lady said we could no-till corn. Okay. 
and we come back about a couple months later or so and the corn just wasn't doing the hottest so we uh we're looking at the corn we were thinking you know oh this corn here just ain't doing worth a worth a darn so we um you know started looking at it and everything and we were like oh man this ain't even gonna be worth picking well a long story short um i mean it was pretty bad to where the darn weeds were taller than the corn was but hey long story short the corn did 215 bushel to the acre and i will show you guys a little bit later where that was at god is good god can take drought stricken corn as i will call it just downright terrible and make something good out of it i'm gonna stop here and show you guys just exactly what i'm doing i am running over these corn stalks um because they need to get broken down i'm actually not happy with what i'm doing i am saying well i know what i need to do i need to change my direction because well i'm not happy with what this is doing i the reason why i want to go more at an angle is quite simple it's not getting it broke up enough you see there's still there's still stalks standing but they're just they're bent over and i feel i just i feel that you know if i go more at an angle um you guys see the dirt down here you guys see the dirt down here i want that dirt thrown up on top of all this trash okay there's some dirt there there's some dirt there and right there okay what i want to do is there's some dirt there thrown up on top of this stuff i want to take and throw dirt on top of all this trash okay there's some dirt there right there there's some dirt right there because what will happen what will happen is all this dirt that i'm throwing on top of uh Hold my knife up that i'm throwing all on top of all this trash is the dirt will help rot the corn stalks it'll help rot it down to where it is no more to where it's usable you can come back in the spring and work it again and plant soybeans or whatever you want um it's not a good idea to plant corn to corn back to back um, it because the field loses loses nutrients. There's such a thing called crop rotation that has to be done every year to put nutrients back into the ground, and that is why I'm running a Salford vertical tillage tool. Like I said, I'm going to change my direction because I want to throw more dirt up on the uh, trash like I already showed you guys. And you generally wanna run, you know, six, seven mile an hour. There's there's some dirt there. It, it, it just, you know, it's all about how the machine's set up and I let my father set it up. See, there's some dirt there and, you know, like back here, there's some dirt right there. It's just, you don't need big gobs of dirt. You only need a little bit of, of dirt. will do wonders to um, make make this do wonders. And like I said, I'm going to change 
direction because this is not doing a good job. I don't like how it's just bending them over from being, you know, straight up and down. Yeah. I know somebody out there is going to say, oh, well, you need to change your blades. Well, we changed these blades last winter. They are not war. Okay. It's not the blades. I'm going to try and go at an angle because I feel that that would do wonders. I'm going right for that corner down there. Right for that corner. So, I'll see you guys when I get down there. How about that for a farmer who's blind and can't see out of one eye and can barely see out the other. So we'll go ahead and check after a few rounds or so and see if um, we've made any improvements. Well, uh, this half of the field is all done. I'm going to do that half now. Oh, I can't wait for these tires to get taken off the 7810 because these front ones do not have no flotation to them. So I just want everybody to know that I did not run into that oil well over there or that jack or whatever the heck that thing is. Okay? I did not run into it. So, um, the reason why I'm stopped here is so that nobody accuses me of running over that oil well, tank, jack. I know it's not a jack because a jack has one of those arms that move up and down. Um, I was told that there's supposedly supposed to be a license plate here that... Um, I'm supposed to get a picture of because this was not like this okay if you guys go back to that video where um in the field it's supposed to say fork on it there is the license plate bracket um so yeah, I don't know who's going to be paying for this, but uh, whoever's going to be paying for this is going to have to pay near and dear because, um, I mean, it's just, it's all mangled and I, I highly doubt that you can just set the thing back up right like it was. Um... Oh, that's part of it. No, that's part of the... What the heck is that? That's part of the, uh... The truck. Okay, it was a pickup truck that hit it. I don't know. There's the tracks. I don't know how in the hell... Or what possessed them to hit the thing. But there's the tracks. They are not mine. We do not have any Ford vehicles. Um... So I'm going to have to, I guess, take some pictures of this. They uh, came through this way here because you can tell where the corn's been knocked down. They came through this way here because there's the tire tracks. Came through this way, pulled up, backed up. I don't know what possessed them to hit the thing. But it's done for. It's shot. It's totaled. And, um, I just... I question people as to why they have to be destructive like that. I mean, whoever the heck hit that darn thing must have had to been moving at a fairly good clip. I must say, right. Well, that thing is heavy. Just by the looks of it. So I'm going to say probably greater than four mile an hour. To be able to knock that thing out of the ground like that. I mean, that or else they were probably back here screwing around and they were drunk. But why would you just come out here and deliberately hit that thing? So this is one of the many 
many reasons why I document everything that I do because um, I don't want anybody coming back later on down the road and saying, Whoa, you hit that oil well. No, I did not hit that oil well. Some dip tart hit it. Okay? I know they did. Because there's a standing corn down there and I went out and around. Just like this. Okay. How stupid can you be? Eh, pretty stupid, I guess, to hit that. So this was that piece <clears throat> that I was telling about. It drew the line right there, and it went goes that way. That the lady that lives in that house up there said that we could farm. Um. It done, I was telling you it done 215 bushel of the acre. It was doing over 200 bushel of the acre. Damn it. Stupid water jug. But um, it did phenomenal. It, it done phenomenal. So, um, yeah. is that washout. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there in front of us. Um, it was a pretty big washout. Enough to swallow a tractor and make it flop on its side if you fell in it. So, uh, that's why I'm not going to try crossing it because I don't know if the thing is settling or not. From my dad come out with the tractor this morning and smeared dirt all over it but um, I'm not gonna try crossing it I don't know what's well I know it's in it it's a, it's a darn washout but I think all this the more that I'm gonna do is just run upside this thing like this here. And then run back down the other side. Because like I said, I don't know if this is soft or not. And, um, I don't want to find out the hard way by falling in it. I need to make up some time because I have an appointment at 2.30 to go to. So, um... I'm just going to defy all odds, go across this, pray to God I don't sink, we didn't sink, so we're good. And everything is good. So we will uh, put the tractor back up here, because we are done A-OK. -okay. I wonder why them paper towels are down there. Must have been when I went across that no-till ground over there. So we will um, go ahead and shut her down right here. Let it cool down for five minutes to Cool the turbo down, because if you don't cool the turbo down when it's scorching red hot, it'll score the engine, and we're not looking to replace an engine. Couple of old abandoned buildings here. I just want to poke around this one here. Looks to be like a... Um, Cattle building. 
I don't know if those would have been the fence post or what, but it looks to be an old building, an old cattle building. Look at the cute little round bales. Aren't they cute? But yeah. That's probably how they lifted the bales up or something. I'm not exactly sure what the rope's for. Oh, and that's where they would back. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what that other part there is. But I know this is a loft. I know that's a loft for probably for hay. That's what that is. Yeah. Then you would pull the wagons in here. You would have the cows over there. And then you have your hay over on this side. That's exactly what that is. Yeah. Old antique machinery building. Does that got a basement? That, that does have a other end to it okay so what the heck do we got going here oh you know what i bet this is where they put the hay equipment or no no this is the downstairs to ah uh, that part where there okay this is probably where they had the hay equipment. Because you see tracks here where it looks like they might have pulled something in and out. I don't know what that is up there, though. See, this must have been a... I don't know. Wiring's all hacked into it. Looks like it might have been a small maintenance shop. And that looks like a garage up there. I have no clue where the house would have sat. 